Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rebecca, aka the Game Bodega Cat, and today we're doing something a little bit different. If you're not a avid TikToker, if you actually have something to do with your life and don't waste at least two hours on TikTok a day, you might not be aware of the Miley Cyrus situation. Nothing dramatic, okay? It's a stupid situation, it's a fun situation for once, and it's called the Miley Cyrus Challenge. For those of you who don't know what's going on, here's a brief overview. It all started when this girl posted a TikTok saying that if Miley commented, she'd get whatever tattoo she said. Miley did end up commenting, uh, not about a tattoo, but I think she asked her out on a date. Long story short, she ended up getting a tattoo that was like a heart with MC in the middle, um, sparking a huge trend where hundreds and thousands of people did similar things. Offering up pieces of their ass, saying that they'll twerk for her, allowing their students to have a party in the USA. Chipotle then joined in, saying that if Miley Cyrus commented, they would make a Miley Cyrus burrito on their app. Miley replied saying that she would only if they name it the guac is extra but so is Miley burrito. They complied and here we are. So after learning about all of that, one of my favorite vegan news organizations published an article saying that while Miley Cyrus is no longer vegan, her new burrito is. Uh, at that point, I, re I realized that I have to try it. So here we are. I'm walking from my apartment to the nearest Chipotle in Williamsburg. It's a beautiful day for a walk. I am so blessed. I do believe we're enjoying one of the nicest days of December. December and why not socially distantly, socially distantly take full advantage. Let's go. It's so nice. My jacket's open. <laughs> what? It's like literally Christmas is next week. Maybe I shouldn't be so excited for global warming. I can't help it. Like the warm part is amazing. The devastation part isn't. I can't make this shit up. This guy on a bike stops me. He says, Hey, can I bother you for a second? I was like, yeah, what's up? And he was like, I see you have a camera or whatever. Do you do your own editing? And I was like, yeah, I do. And he was like, um, I, I need an editor. I need someone to edit my videos for you, for me. And I was like, all right, you know, whatever. That, that's cool. Maybe I could help. I don't know. Long story short, he asked me on Instagram. He's like, damn, I'm vegan too. And I'm like, cool. And then he goes, do you want marijuana popcorn? It's caramel flavored. Now I have in my hand marijuana caramel flavored vegan popcorn. I'm not gonna eat it. I can't eat shit people, strangers give me, I can't. But I can't throw it out, he was so nice. Mm. All right, I discarded the drugs, but not before I made a TikTok about it because like, how could you not? Um, and we're almost at Chipotle. Miley would be proud of this. Miley also probably would have eaten the free drugs. All right, here we are. I know a lot of people like to shit on Chipotle, but I low key like it. Oh. Oh, that's a heavy door. I wonder if they'll like know what it is if I say it. Do you by any chance know the guac is extra, but so is Miley burrito? All right, I'm gonna get you a list and then we'll do it together. Uh, white rice, please. Black beans. Uh, faja veggies. I don't know, why did I say faja? Roasted chili corn salsa. Tomatillo red chili salsa. Romaine lettuce and guacamole. Thank you. A few notes. First, why did I say faja vegetables? Isn't faja the thing you wear like after you get like a BBL or a tummy tuck or something? That was embarrassing. Number two, I'm pretty sure while I said tomatillo salsa, he put the spicy spicy salsa instead. So that's gonna be fun to eat. And third, it looks like Chipotle TikTok has not rolled out the guac is extra but so is Miley burrito officially. It seems to be like a secret menu item so secret literally nobody knows what it is. That's great. This burrito is very similar to my go-to actually. I usually get a bowl just because you get more food that way and it's easier to like save the rest for later because I can never finish a whole thing, you know? The only real difference between this and something I would order anyway is I would put it in a bowl, I usually like pinto beans, and I use mild salsa. Not because I don't like spice, it's just that when you're eating a chipotle burrito, you don't know when you're gonna get a pocket of just salsa, which is fine when it's mild salsa, but not fine when it's the exact salsa that was accidentally put into this very burrito right here. That being said, we're gonna taste it anyway. Tastes like mediocre Mexican food. Mediocre Americanized Mexican food. And I have one bone to pick with the name of this burrito. Here's the thing, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you order a veggie burrito, like if you order a burrito without any meat or even the tofu, the guac is free. And since this burrito is automatically a veggie burrito, the guac is not extra in this case. This is one of the rare cases that the guac is not extra. So. 
Then again, Miley named the burrito herself, so when you're Miley, you can do whatever you want. After this, I have to run a few errands. I think I'll take y'all with me, just because this video is going to be like so short. Oh, let me rate this. I haven't yet hit a guacamole pocket, which by the way, was the guacamole there browner than usual? I'm going to rate this a 6 out of 10. Oh, a salsa pocket. That was the most mediocre Chipotle burrito I've had in my life. And like, that's not even like shitting on Miley's assemblance, Miley's preference. Um, I just think that everything there was stale. Like the rice taste is stale, the guacamole was brown. Like, I don't know. Anyway, so welcome to the rest of my uh, day running errands. First stop is Food Town because I'm doing a video where I try like a whole bunch of different um, frozen pizzas and one of the frozen pizzas I wanted to try is from Alpha Foods. I went on their website and I did their like store locator and apparently this food town right here has their pizzas. Um, I also need dish sponges and the creamer that both Roberto and I are addicted to. After that we're getting pots and dirt for my plants. I have a few uh, little cuttings that need to be planted. I found a little refrigerated section labeled vegetarian, but this is gonna be in a freezer, so let's head to the back. I love cocktail onions. Why is it $9? All right, the crack. This and Bustello are the only things in life I'll admit being addicted to. Pizza, 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 pizza. Oh, I see pizza, oh yes! This is literally what I needed. Now just need bingo. And now we buy Birdo a snack, cause Birdo always needs snacks. What should we get him? Can I please just get a chocolate chip cookie? I actually got him two cookies, cause this is what I do, right? I'll come home and I'll be like, babe, I got you a cookie. And then I'll give him the cookie and then he'll be happy or whatever. And then I wait till it's like nighttime until he starts having like sweet cravings really, really bad. And I'm like, babe, I got you another cookie. Oh, double the happy. If you give him both cookies at the same time, you don't get as much happy. Then when you give him a cookie when he thinks no cookie is coming, when he's least expected, like it's midnight, we're about to sleep, he really wants something sweet, he's about to settle for a peanut butter and jelly, and you're like, boom, cookie. Happy relationship. All right, errand number three. We just need some pots. We just need some pots. Maybe like two little pots. Look how absolutely massive these pots are. That looks about right. Maybe we'll get two. So I'm home, right? And just my luck, as soon as I walk into the apartment, the mailman tries to give me like a package or something, right? And so I try to balance everything and I drop my pot that I literally just bought and I broke it. So here's the plan. We're gonna save this pot for emergencies. Maybe I'll need it one day, who knows? Around nine months ago, my friend Sabs gave me a plant that was very much dying, like almost dead, flopped over. So I decided to like cut it up in little pieces and propagate each little piece. And I decided when one of the pieces was big enough to be a plant in itself, I would gift it back to her. Well, her birthday is in January and she sometimes watches my videos. So hopefully she doesn't watch this one. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this plant that I feel like has outgrown its little planter and I'm gonna put it in this baby right here. And then I'm gonna take the little propagation that I've been making for her and I'm gonna put it in this little potty thing, which is almost poetic because she actually bought me this. Should I do that? Or would she be insulted that I gave her her own pot back? Yeah, I can't use a broken one, it's too cracked. Yeah, that's the only way to do it. They're done, they're so cute. Okay, so this is the present that I will be giving Sabs in a couple months, in a month. In a month, yes. Uh, hopefully she'll like it. Hopefully it'll grow more till then because it's kind of small, but it's still cute. And this is the new pot for my little tree. I love it so much. Fun fact, I grew this plant from a cutting that Sabs gave me, so. My plants and Sabs plants are related. They're cousins. That is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of random, but a lot of fun. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. 
Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, and Matt. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.